it's travel day and as you can see I'm not finished packing <laughs> I have story finished but I am just now starting my own stuff I've just been I, I there's just a lot happening Picked up my mom and my grandma and my brother yesterday at the airport. Right after we picked him up, we swung through the drive through COVID testing tent. I got tested, my mom got tested, Story got tested, my brother and my grandma were all vaccinated except for Story because she's only three and she can't get it yet. But one of the requirements for flying overseas is that regardless of your vaccination status, you have a negative test within, I think it's 72 hours or something like that. We did get the rapid test. They told us that it was going to be 24 to 48 hours to get the results. But she said that a lot of people were getting them within 12 hours. So I'm really nervous right now that we're not gonna get our test results before our flight. That's like the worst case scenario. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock right now. We got the test yesterday at one, so it's almost been 24 hours. I don't know. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll update you guys in a minute. I'm gonna finish packing. This is how I'm doing things though. I have this big suitcase here. This is gonna be mine. So I have to put all my clothes, jammies, socks, everything in there. And then over here, the medium sized bag is gonna be stories. So she's pretty much finished. I'm just throwing in a couple last minute things like her brush and some ponytails and bows. And then this one over here is gonna be our carry on. So I put stories, jammies, a few diapers. We're gonna put like a sweatshirt and just some comfy things for the flight. And then over here, Underneath these sweaters, I have this duffel bag that goes with this set. That's going to be for all my electronics. So my laptop, the iPad for story, camera stuff, chargers, all that stuff. And that's going to do it. And then we also have her car seat, which folds up. It's like a travel car seat. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about the car seat that we got for her, but it's through, it's a company called Waby. Oh my God, my cats are eating my boots right now. Donut. Donut. Leave it alone. Anyways, we have this travel car seat for her and you can put the, the seat in an airplane that there's a belt, there's a spot for the seat belt to go and everything. I don't think that we're gonna use it on the airplane, um, but we do have to have it when we get to Germany because Tim rented a big van. So we're gonna put the car seat in the van so we can drive around that way. Anyways, it was kind of pricey, but I think it's gonna be worth it. And I also use it in the Jeep here while we're at home. I'll go ahead and put that footage in of me unboxing it right here. We got a package today. Oh, it's Story's new car seat. Can you lift it? Is it too heavy? <laughs> Do you need some help? Yeah. Yeah. As some of you may know, we're going to Germany soon, so we needed to get a car seat that was light, compactable, easy to travel, all those things. I'm not lugging around this heavy one that we keep in the truck. So I did a little research and I found these Waby car seats. I guess it's like a convertible seat. I'll link it down below. We got it from Amazon, but I'll link the Amazon link down below so you can check it out. But I'm gonna open it now and just see how it looks. Okay, we gotta pull this out. Can you hold the box open? Yeah. Can you hold the box while I pull it? Yeah. Oh. oh no. <laughs> I think mommy broke the handle. Okay, this might be a two-handed job. Hold please. So I got it out of the box. I broke these handles, so uh, whoops. But I don't think I need this bag. So I already like this. It has a backpack sort of situation on the back. So this is actually the travel bag. Can you unzip that? Thank you. Let's open it. Ooh. Oh, hi. Your new travel buddy has arrived. What's this say? Okay. Meet Pico. Check the pocket. What pocket are we talking about? I'm already confused. Maybe I need to get it out first. Okay, here's what we're supposed to check in the pocket. Here's a little instruction manual. Mommy's got some learning to do. I'm not the best at these kinds of things. This is usually daddy's job, isn't it? Oh boy, I might have to YouTube this and get back to you. <laughs> 
this is for a forward facing child. It's for kids 22 to 50 pounds, 30 to 45 inches. So Story is about 35 pounds and she's about 40 inches, between 40 and 41 inches. So she's perfect for this. Hopefully we'll get to use this for at least two years, maybe crossing my fingers. This is something I've never seen before. So I get packages all the time with these desiccants in it. <laughs> Excuse you. Um, but I've never seen anything like this, anti-mold chip. It's like a sticker. I don't know how this works. This is strange. What do you do with this? Do you just peel this off and stick it on something? It was in the bottom of the actual travel bag itself. So I guess if you're gonna store this for a long time, maybe keep these in here. Here's some quick specifications, but it is a total of eight pounds. It's 18.9 inches high folded up and it adjusts to a total of 27.8 inches. We're doing a little bit of a like testing here to see if this like lines up with their head. It's pretty easy so far. So the, the headrest, it just has this red button right here that you push in. I can't do this with one hand, but when you push this in, you can raise this up and down and it just slides up and down. And then it's a pretty standard like five point harness. It's got the two chest clips that go together. And then it's got the clip on her lap with the button that releases it. How does that go? Yeah. That's part of the latch system. In your car and in mommy's Jeep, it has these little bars in the seat. And we're gonna take this and put them on there okay. so that you can't fly out. We're gonna test this out real quick in the Jeep and just make sure I know what I'm doing. So we'll put it right here. This is where her other car seat went. And then we'll try to do the latch thing back here. There's one of them right there. You probably can't see it, but it's right there. So we'll just take this and push it in. I just heard it click. So that side's good. Let's go to the other side. Oh, you know what I gotta do? There's a tether on the back pocket. It's kind of tucked in here, but it's basically this hook right here. And so I need to loosen this up and it's gonna reach around here and then hook onto that hook right there. So this is kind of hard to show with just one hand, but this gray button right here, when you push it, that'll loosen this belt so you can pull it and just make it as long as you need it. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Yeah? You feel like a big girl? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You definitely have more freedom. It's kind of hard to see, but here it is. It's not going anywhere. It takes up far less space than the other one, which I really like. And she probably will like it too because she'll have a lot more room for her legs. And it breaks down easily. So this folds down and then the seat folds up so it compacts and then I can put it back in that little backpack and throw it over my shoulder and go. Hello from Charleston International Airport where we still do not have Story's test results. But we were able to park. <laughs> we're on level two, G4. Remember that for whenever we come back home and I ask you. We dropped off Giga and Blake at the curb <laughs> and they have all of our luggage. So hopefully they're still there. <laughs> hopefully. Um, now we just have to get back to the airport because we're in the parking garage right now. No. See you in a bit. Here we go. Say hi to the people. Say hi people. Story, say hi. No? Okay. No, not this time. She hasn't had her nap yet. Hopefully that means she'll sleep more on the plane. We made it. We made it to the, the terminal, whatever it is. There's the brother, right over there. Here's our pile of, of goods. <laughs> How long did that take us? 20 minutes almost. 20 minutes? Oh, it felt like an hour. All right, we're gonna go try to check in because we couldn't do it online. And then we gotta check for the kids' results. Nothing? Okay, we're on the flight headed to London. We had a complete home alone moment where we were running for the gate. They were announcing our names. We almost missed it. We're on the we're on the flight. Everybody made it. We got our results. We got our boarding passes. We're checked in. It is 9:25 p.m. Stories over here next to me. She's got her bun. Mom's over here, brother's behind her. 
and my grandma is right there. I can't complain about these seats. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's a pretty lucky three-year-old to be flying first class, I'll say that. <laughs> she has her own little cove. <laughs> she already went potty on the little toilet, too. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching our safety demonstration. The federal mask mandate Nicole. remains in place for air travel Nicole. under recently updated CDC guidance Say for hi. vaccinated oh. travelers. As a result, we continue to have additional you gotta safety wave. measures due to COVID-19. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I don't think that I've ever enjoyed a warm bowl of nuts and a glass of wine more than I have at this very moment. Story even has her own little thing of nuts, but she is about to fall asleep. <laughs> Cheers, Mom. <laughs> Giga's over here with her coffee watching the Holiday Baking Championship. She seems pretty happy right now, and we're just waiting for our food. While we're waiting for our dinner to show up, I guess I can show you what's on the menu. We have a Cajun grilled shrimp. We have some salad. Here's the main plates, some short ribs, roasted chicken breast with cauliflower mash, seared red snapper, spinach and ricotta, rotolo pasta. I think that's what I'm getting. Ooh, an ice cream sundae, a gourmet cheese plate. Ooh, what's an express meal? Okay. Let's see what else we have. We have some mid-flight snacks, breakfast. Hmm, that sounds good, minus the sausage. And then your beverages. I've already enjoyed a glass of I don't know what this was it was a semi-sweet wine some kind of white wine I'm not really sure what it was but it was good oh here we go maybe this will tell me okay okay this is what I had the geyser peak Sauvignon Blanc here's our little seat maneuvering thing so right now I've got my feet up can put it down and up. I think this lays all the way flat. You can control your lights right here. I'm not sure what these really mean. I guess these are just like set positions and then this will just move like as you push. As I hold this down then my feet go down. See? There they go. Whee! And then in here we have all of our charging ports so we've got all of these voltage ports uh, a couple USBs and then this is for the headphone jack all right here's dinner this is the spinach and ricotta rotolo pasta with pomodoro sauce basil pesto and pine nuts this was created and inspired by the partnership they have with the James Beard Foundation. So, I expect it to be pretty good. And then we've got ooh, some shrimp right here, which I probably won't eat. And then a nice little salad right here. And a sourdough roll. And some butter, and some chocolate, some salt and pepper. It smells really good. Story has her child's plate. This is for kids age two to five. She's got mac and cheese, tomatoes, chicken tenders, salad, cheese, bread, some salted caramel bars, ketchup, butter. She will not finish all this, but she's got quite the spread going on. Mac and cheese looks good. Is it fish or mac or chicken? Is it fish or chicken? Chicken. 
It looks like chicken. Looks pretty good. She's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Ego got the red snapper. How is it? <laughs> How is it? How's your fish? How's the fish? It's good? Spicy shrimp? Okay, the stewardess just came by with dessert and you could get chocolate, butterscotch, whipped cream, and pecans. She said, if you get everything, it's a death by dessert. So, I present to you, death by dessert. It's everything. We're on vacation. Why not? Good morning. It is 3.15 a.m. back home. We have about 45 minutes left of the flight. We're getting pretty close to London. Everybody's resting right now. Some people had some breakfast, but I just, after all that dinner, I was not hungry. So, yeah, it's been a really comfortable flight. I kind of wish it was longer so that we could sleep more. But I'm pretty comfortable. We got these nice blankets, a pillow, we have this little light right here. light reading. We should be around so you can see where we're at. There we are. It says that it is negative 77 degrees outside. We have about 40 minutes to go. We're almost there. Looks like we're over the Celtic Sea right now. The stewardess brought us a biscuit for breakfast, but I don't think Story's gonna eat it. We gotta wake Story up now. <laughs> Poor girl, so tired. Okay, we made it to London. <laughs> Here's Giga in her little glass box. We have to find Terminal 5, but we also have to stay with Giga, so we're waiting for her driver. Whoa, whoa. I could lie wide awake and leave my head up in space. Come this night's end. There's only one charging port in this van. I imagine all you guys' oh, phones wow. are dead. I don't care about my phone. I don't care. Well, and the speakers, we, there's only two speakers in this van too. And they're in the front. We'll turn I up. guess it's not really <laughs> made for it's not, cruising. It's, no, it's, it's made, made for, for transport. That transport. Yeah, we thought that was, yeah, that was, that thought that was Transporting ride. prisoners is what it's made for. It looks like. Oh, cool. That's what no. it looks like. <laughs> I was thinking it looks like a little gingerbread van. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a brownish, orangish yeah, color. 
now we have yeah, an hour and a half again. drive or two hours? It's Don't two hours say. to Edelweiss. Two hours to Edelweiss, Edelweiss Resort. And she's out. Kinds of snow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stories lost her mind. Um, we had to come in and then yeah, 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 yeah. sign a visitor yeah, 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 pass yeah, yeah, and get yeah, 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 yeah. something. So we're gonna finish yeah, up doing yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So the rest of them are in there right now, signing their stuff, and then we're gonna go check in and go to our room and go to sleep. Because we're so tired. And hopefully we'll wake up tomorrow and we'll be able to look around the resort and see the snow and uh, just see how pretty it is. There are a lot of Christmas lights. Do you see all the Christmas lights over there? I don't know if you can see it, but it's way over there. We're going to go that way. It's pretty, but it's cold. It is definitely cold. Here. I, I need to go pop. What the heck? What? There we are. There we are. Edelweiss Lodge and Resort, Resort and Lodge. Yeah, so there we are. We're here. The snow and the snowflakes are welcoming us. Those don't really show up very well. They just like look like bright blobs. Not really sure where to go. Um. Where's the pork to share? Check in again. I thought we just did all that. Nope, we don't need to do that. Look at all those lights. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Parking garage right there, but we probably have to check in first. Okay, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Lots of Look at that tree. Ooh, that's the tree we Blue's saw on colors. Facebook. Blue's colors, I, <laughs> I like that story. Solid check that also. out. Story, look at all the lights. Ooh. Lots of yeah, that's pretty. They're all prettier outside. They're covered in little snowflakes. Put your hair, put your, look, look up. Let's take your <laughs> Catch them. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not eating that. All right, let's go check in. I love this. There's Santa's sleigh with all the presents. And there's Santa. Ooh. Look at that tree. And is that a sleigh just like smacked up on the wall. They got a fire over there. Santa Claus. Look at this guy. Yes, Daddy's gonna have to make you one of these. <laughs> Comes the goods. Oh <laughs> there it is. Five people's worth of luggage. <laughs> Here we are. What do you think? The bathroom, and a little tub and shower, a little vanity with a little fridge. 
Closet system. Ooh, there's a fan in here. We didn't have to bring ours. Yeah, like safe. Nice size mirrors. And then a couple queen beds. And a TV. And some dresser drawers. Let's turn the light on. Oh, well, that's one light. That's pretty good size for a family of three. Bye. You leaving or coming in? Daddy's got to unload all our stuff now.